potato. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. You know, I wonder. Why can't I see my feet? Oh, wood. Wood. More wood. Oh. Yay. Concussion. Oh, goodbye, Gladys. Don't want to listen to you for a little while. Alright, now we get to burn through this part. I love parts of the game that I can just do like the back of my hand. We're gonna walk through a ton of rubble. I'm gonna pop a few portals. In fact, nope, no, can't do that shortcut. Not a lot of talking going on right now. However, we are hitting one of the funniest parts of this, uh, of this game, where in which we get to experience the charming antics of uh, Mr. Cave Johnson. There we go. Oh, I'm guessing he's... I sneeze? I don't know, just sneeze. I hate it when that happens. And hoop. Alright. Here we go. In fact, I think I'm going to take a uh, quick second to show off the Borealis site when it comes around to it. By the way, also, sorry I'm I'm very nasally sounding. I I picked up a cold. I'm not going to name any names as to who gave it to me. <clears throat> but um I just wanted to apologize for the fact that it sounds like I'm I don't even know what the hell that sounds like. Um, I would assume that was an impersonation of some sort of dwarf elf man. Gotta have me my dwarf elf man. Yeah, bloop! Sweet! Jump! Super hardcore parkour. Also, uh, we are reaching a strange uh, occurrence in uh, my Minecraft series. I'm actually running close to my limit of footage. I recorded episodes um, two through no, no episodes yeah three through twelve. Uh, no, actually three through thir thirteen, all in one night. So really, all I've had to do was just, you know render them and then post them on the days they were needed but instead um, now I'm gonna either have to do a full burst or or I'm going to just make videos like the night before they're needed you know sort of just to keep them current which I don't know really if it affects anything unless you guys have criticism 
um, it doesn't really affect the video at all. For instance, when I posted the first few episodes of the Portal playthrough on episode one, someone said that I should put, turn on subtitles. I ended up uh, taking that advice into consideration when my episodes became current, which would have been around episode four. So, just a neat little tidbit of information. I think I broke Cape Johnson. Every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Do your part for science. That's what I'm talking about. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. I know almost every Cave Johnson line. I'm just not going to say them, because really I love Cave. I want him to say the lines, not me. Old cube. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills or I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel in your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. It's funny because this idea of wall jumping with repulsion gel is never used again. <laughs> it's simply there for this part, which I just find weird.
They also had this one gel uh, planned for the game that, when used, uh, I think the idea behind what the fu I thought. Why is it not turning off the panel? What the fu Oh god damn it! Gotta go all the way back. Okay, there we go. Now it's not broken. All right. Oh, well, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one and it does not like the human skeleton.